Disco. Yeah, it was. <laughs> One half this time. It's good though, feel good vibes. Obviously, better if it's a bit sunnier, but that's yeah, outside the uh, park's control. <laughs> Obviously, we have Marcus with us. So, oh, when was the last time? Yeah, yeah, it's you again. <laughs> so, when was the last time you was here at the park? Uh, over three years ago. Three years uh, ago? Uh, so, this area looked very different. So, G Force would have still been here, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yes, it's very different now, but look at this, we've got the wave swinger. We've got some bar we got a barrel man. We've got a load of barrels. I like the theme in. We've got, we've got a barrel mate. It looks great though. It looks really good though with all the like the starfish on it and all the little fishes. Theme of chicken diner dinner. Diner, yeah. It looks very good. I just, I love the way they've done it all up. We've got the masts up there. The sign. I'm a big fan of the sign as well. What are you thinking so far, Joe? I think it looks wicked. It's so bright and vibrant. Yeah. It's really nice. Compared to what it was like before, well obviously once they removed G-Force, this was just yeah. empty, wasn't it, for so long? It's definitely it's really improved, nice. it definitely improved the feeling of this pet area. It's just opened it all up yeah. as well, hasn't it? Yeah. The fact you can walk in and around now. The fact that now we've got all these really cool rides, so like Maelstrom, Tidal Towers, like Tidal Towers is over there. This is a wave swinger. We've got uh, Storm Force, which is an amazing, one of my favourite um, water rides in the UK. Obviously now Shockwave, it's all painted up, which obviously we've, that's been new, we've saw that for quite a while now, but I think it's improved it so much. Down there is obviously where the River Rapids is, and it was originally meant to be opening up with the rest of Adventure Cove, it is part of Adventure Cove. I don't think too, too much longer, but when all that is opened up, it makes the park feel so different. But it's just going to bring a whole different, new, fresh vibe to this area, which I'm really looking forward to. And we'll just go around to Air, Air Race. We've got Air Race. So Air Race will eventually be rethemed. It's, it's got a new logo that's coming. Um, so yeah, I, I'm excited about that because it'll make this feel like, it, it's kind of stuck out before. It's kind of just like a random ride. Um, but putting it all together, it's going to be really good. And this is going to be like the air show of the whole area. We've got Malsham over there going. It's a big area, really, when you think about how much it actually encompasses. Ice We've got some ice creams on the go over there. We've got an Adventure Cove deck chair. That looks really good. Oh, that's cool. I love that. So we're just over on like the uh, right-hand side of Chicken Diner, this new area. Chicken hatch there, which I guess is going to be open and you can kind of get your own food. We've got some nice music playing from Adventure Cove FM. Look at this. These nice little shelters, these are nice, aren't they? The shelters. You can just stand underneath. Hey, look, how you doing? And here we go, Tidal Towers, this brand new slides play zone. Whatever I want to call them. They look very good, look very nice with all the theming on the side of them. Definitely next to Wave Swinger. I did want to give it a go, but there's kids on it, so I'm going to leave it for today. But it's a really nice little area. I do really like these, the nice touch these are. Yeah. Tidal Towers, finally open. Hello! <laughs> around the whole area as 
as well, Adventure Cove yeah. FM. So it's got like little stings in it of adverts and stuff, which is really cool. Yeah, I really like that. It just brings like the whole area to life, doesn't it? I like that little touch. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news, live from Drayton Manor Weather Station. And Jenny has spotted a maelstrom out at sea. Take cover! This Category 5 cyclone is expected to hit Adventure Cove imminently. Don't forget to hold on tight and enjoy the ride! So we just did Wave Swinger, the new ride for Drayton Manor, Sierra Wave Swinger. What did you think? It was cool, yeah. It's a really nice relaxing little ride. Actually goes higher than it looks as well when you're yeah. on it. Yeah. It's good, nice little fun ride. <laughs> it's really comfy seats as well, that's what we, we yeah, said. Yeah, we're just sitting it. back in it like, ooh. <laughs> very, very comfy seats. Great views up there as well, like higher than you think it's gonna be. Uh -huh. um, yeah, like I just think it's really nice and it's all done really well. It's really weird. I've never been on one of these wave swingers that move when you're like getting loaded onto it. Yeah, it was like <laughs> we moved like all the way around slow. when it wasn't even like you know actually running. Um, but yeah, so that added some kind of fun to the waiting around. But that was really good. Um, so I think what we're going to do now is it's starting to rain a little bit. So we're going to go and do the haunting. I've not done this ride in so long. It didn't open at all last year. So it opened up like very recently. Um, and yeah, I just love this. The first ever madhouse that I ever did, um, and actually the second ever madhouse, the coma madhouse in the world. It opened up the same year as uh, Villa Volta in Efteling, which was officially the first one. So yeah, it's got some history to it, and I like it. I like the storyline. Um, yeah, let's go do that. Wave swinger, really good. Yeah, really, really good. Uh, yeah. A bit unexpected the moving backwards. Yeah, I said that, like when you were sitting down getting loaded on to it. But no, it's, it's it's bigger than you bigger than it looks. Yeah, yeah, a lot bigger. Um, and it's not like really like you get you get on some of these and they're really scary. That wasn't really scary at all, was no, it? Really no, it's nice just and fun. relaxing, just, yeah. Yeah, just fun relaxing. So gift box, which is like the, the big gift shop, is finally open. It's just been closed for quite a while. I remember when this used to be the haunting shop back in the day. Oh, they've got all the new merch in. Drayton and apart. I do actually, I would actually buy that. And of course, because Christmas is just on the corner. Christmas <laughs> shop! <laughs> but in, uh, was it in Magic Kingdom? They have an actual Christmas shop, don't yeah, they? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, this is eatery in there. Cream, yeah. Not been in this this place before. Um, got Kelly's. So yeah, very good. Got a nice cap. Very nice. So. The scariest place under one roof. Yes. Here we go. I'm going to walk through these gates again. This is a nerd moment for me. Train Green Freaky, which is now open. It's, it's going to be a long wait, but I don't care, it's worth it. So we just come off the haunting. What do you think of the haunting? Oh, I loved it. It was so good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good to get back on that again. Yeah. I think Honestly, it's better than Hex. Oh, you're yeah. gonna annoy some people with that. <laughs> I've got to say, I love Hex because of the actual the storyline and everything, and the atmosphere and the music. But um, 
Let's, I just love that, how creepy that place is. Yeah, the second like, it's an old, showroom as well. It's an old vicarage and all that sort of stuff. Um, we're going on Apocalypse now. But yeah, since it was like done back up, and I think it's 2016 they redid it all, the storyline and everything. Um, going back on there, everything's working like so well. Like all the effects, even like the the crows outside, like they're moving around and stuff. So really, really good. So um, yeah, we're going on Apocalypse now. Marcus isn't looking. <laughs> so floor stand up is down, so it's just uh, flawless. My favourite is floor standing. It's a shame when these aren't on because it's really cool. So I love watching people going up and down, um, just like you know, kind of seeing there uh, and being nervous. This doesn't go. I really hope this is stay. Such a good attraction here. What do you think about the haunting? It's just caught him off guard. You like it? Really good, yeah. Um, it surprised me actually. Yeah. It's weird. It's, gee, I think the smaller room makes it feel like a little bit more intense. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. It makes it feel it like you're like spinning right? faster. Yeah. 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 Really fast at some bits. No, it was really good. I love the effect. I love the little, um, she's got a name, but I can't her name, who pops up at the end. Oh yeah, that's so that funny. That made you laugh, it's isn't it? <laughs> so good, yeah? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> so we just come off Apocalypse. Wow. Oh, mate. Did you enjoy it? We did, uh, we did standing up, well, dangle basically. Standing, the dangle. Sta standing flawless. These two screamed so oh, much. Oh, man. They screamed so much, and I was just like playing it cool. Yeah. yeah I didn't like... wanna... But no, Marcus was cool as a cucumber. Um, yeah. yeah, he was absolutely fine the whole way. When I come up, I was literally shaking. It was. Yeah. Oh, it's... I love but I hate it, but I love it. That's what's so good about it, yeah, isn't it? Like, exactly. it's terrifying, but it's brilliant. I. Uh... I mean, it's, I don't, like, I'm not the biggest fan of the stand-up flawless, just because it's a little bit uncomfortable for me. Um, I really like the floor, I, like I said earlier, I like, I like the flawed stand-up. Yeah, but, the stand-up um, one's is better. We're gonna, these guys are up for doing a sit-down, riding a bit. So we're gonna, it's raining a little bit now, it's a bit of a shame that it is raining. But we're gonna go back over to Adventure Cove. I mean, Marcus, we may as well do Storm Force at this rate. May as well, we're getting wet, so I think we might actually do it. Uh, in a bit. Probably get a Maelstrom. Get a, definitely get a Maelstrom. Um, have we seen Shockwave go around yet? No. No, no Shockwave. But um, yeah, definitely a Maelstrom today. So we found the ride parts. It's in the Stormforce uh, shop. What have we got? The sensors. Sensors? Accelerator sensor. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I sense that beauty. Oh, hey. <laughs> so here's a look of Inside Chicken Diner. It's looking very cool, looking very fresh. I do love that window up there. I mean, that was there before, I think. But <laughs> In terms of Chicken Diner menu, it's kind of the same. We've got hot and spicy chicken, three piece chicken, falafel burger, that sounds good. Chicken burger, um, regular, oh, they've got the curly fries back. I'm into that. Um, they've got tea, Americano. So, yeah, there you go. Loads of ice, range of ice creams. Marcus has got his uh, curly fries. How are they, mate? The curly fries. Yeah. Amazing. You get a kid's meal. <laughs> I tell you what I do like is the fact that Jay and I have, I know it's a little thing, but they have their own branded boxes. Jay and Manor theme park. Oh, sorry. There we go. You, know, you should know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> You're a professional. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to these curly fries because I've missed them. They're so good. <coughs> there we are. Shockwave in the rain. Yay! <laughs> so, obviously, 
Potter Adventure Cove. Like again, it looks so good. Um, this is actually the first time I've ridden Shockwave this year, <laughs> despite being to the park multiple times. But I'm um, like working really, so. So just come off shockwave and oh my god that was flying through but as you can see absolutely soaked so uh, how was how was shockwave oh like it was it? good it's so nuts in the rain as well like it's literally it's painful but it's good yeah. fun <laughs> So we just come off Maelstrom. Look, absolutely love Maelstrom. Yeah, brilliant. Do you think Marcus Maelstrom? Very, very good. Yeah. Oh, really. No, no, no. It's just another good, very good. <laughs> He's gonna say something. <laughs> no, I, I, I. I think they're all good. Yeah. There's many I love Cyclonator, but personally for me, Maelstrom, it's more comfortable, like the, the seats are way more comfortable. And um, I don't know, I just, I think it's just better. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I just think the cycle could do being a bit longer. You only get about three like full swings and then you're slowing down again, so. Uh, I think, this is where I mean, Joe disagree, like that for me, that's a good, for a flat ride, that's a good cycle time. Sometimes I come off Cyclonator feeling a bit, Queasy, so um, I really like, I really like that. Oh, Joe's having a little snooze. That looks comfy, that does, doesn't it? Living a life on the beach. Very bad son. You just look like a really little person. <laughs> <laughs> Got air race going over there. Storm Force 10. Hopefully, we can still get on. It's like half five now. Joe, it's not coming on. I'm cold enough. <laughs> <laughs> cold enough. No. So I think that they've just loaded on. I can just about see into that little station hole. And I think they actually went on the back row. <laughs> down the drop now they're going to see me he's waving <laughs> Oh, it's 
still got my zoom on. <laughs> Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. It's still a good, great ride. Still a great ride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little it was mad shake. <laughs> because when you go on the back row, like we was at the front, but like you know the back was struck. He still got us. Did it still right over right yeah. <laughs> My hood, look. Yay! <laughs> Ugh, mate. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I feel sorry for the people at the back. Sean, what's where Stormforce 10 or Waterfall? Um, <laughs> I'd say Waterfall, but if you went at the back, then it'd probably this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how bad you get on the back. But thanks for getting me on there, mate. You're welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. So that about wraps our day up. Yeah, all done. At Drayton Manor. Very good day, wet day. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, but, it was raining on and off, but it was all right. Yeah, I can't wait until like we can come back in the nice sun and experience Adventure Cove the way it's meant to be. Yeah, a summer. We did actually do Buffalo today. Marcus's first time on it. Beautiful what did you think of it? Beautiful coast. It's, it's nice, so long, and then it has, goes on for a second lap. Yeah, so two laps, and it's all long. Can't complain anyway. about any of that. So this is where a circus used to be back in the day. Circus? Maybe future future development, perhaps. Sure. We also did as well Drunken Barrels and we didn't tell Marcus like what happened on Drunken Barrels. What did you think? I thought it was just a standard teacup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we said wait for it. Wait for what happens. <laughs> he was like, what? What could happen? He wasn't ready. There's just no way you could have known no. it was gonna do that. So. No, no. Um, one of my, obviously, apart from Adventure Cove, one of my uh, standout moments was getting back on the haunting. Yeah. Um, really, really just like it. I think it's, I do think it's underrated. Um, it's, you know, it's a lot smaller madhouse than a lot of the other ones. But I just, I just love the neon effects in there. It works with, like, something like that wouldn't work in Hex, but in there, it works really cool. So I liked all the, um, what would you call them? Like the car? The what? runes. The runes, yeah, cool. the runes all lit up in neon. Looks it so, really cool, so cool, yeah, yeah. Um, and I just like, you go in a lot of these mad houses that have kind of creepy stories, but I like the fact that the haunting is a full on like ghost story. Um, so I just really like it. And plus, it's one of the first ever spooky things I ever did as a kid. So happy about that. Might get a season pass just to do that. <laughs> well, again and again and yeah. again. <laughs> but yeah, so that about wraps it up. Uh, we will be back for the, when the rapids open. Really looking forward to getting back on them again. Honestly, again, another, like, same with the haunting for me, it's like another classic ride. Um, and they've revamped it all up and made it look amazing. Because we saw a lot of it from Shockwave today, and yeah, yeah, it's looking so good. It's looking so, so good. So thanks for the park for inviting us along to come check out Adventure Cove. Um, it's been a really, really good day. Um, thanks to Marcus for joining us. Hey. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a like. If you like this type of content, then please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button. Don't forget to do that. <laughs> so from me, it is bye-bye. From Joe, it is bye. <laughs>